I am continuing to dub my old videos, and today I present to you an analysis of one of the best setters of our time, Simone Gianelli. Enjoy watching! Simone Gianelli, a man who by the age of 26 already has the status of a world-class star, not in the sense that he has a star fan or something like that, and I mean exactly the level of his skills. Many experts, coaches and players include the Italian setter in the top 5, in the top 3, and even someone calls him the best player in the world in his position. And he has been on this list since the age of 23. Taking into account the fact that setters reach their peak by the age of 30, Gianelli now one of the most valuable setters on the market, of course, taking into account his prospects. As you may have guessed, today we will talk about the setter of the Italian national team and the Italian club Perugia, Simone Gianelli. So, as usual, we will not delay any longer. Let's go! Setter was born on August 9, 1996, in the small Italian town of Bolzano, which is located near Trento, which also has the unofficial name Trentino. And there we have a club of the same name, where Simone spent most of his career. As soon as he starts his career in professional volleyball in his hometown, Gianelli is almost immediately taken to the Trentino system. There, from 2010 to 2014, he trained with the youth team, with which he has won the Italian championship in his age group for four years in a row, being recognized as the tournament MVP in each season. History has seen many cases when a player was enchanting at the youth level, but then could not gain a foothold in adult series volleyball. But this case is definitely not about Gianelli. If we do not take into account the season of 13-14, where the setter only got into the main squad application four times, while playing in just one set per season. The debut for the Italian can be considered the season 14-15, the season where Trentino icons Mati Kaziski and Polish setter Lukas Gigadlo returned to the club. And it seemed that an 18-year-old youngster had nothing to catch here. But in his first year, Simone becomes a key figure at the end of that season. And let Trentino lose the Italian Cup to Modena and the CEV Cup in the golden set to Dinamo Moscow, but they were able to successfully celebrate the championship in Italy. And Simone Gianelli received the MVP title, let me remind you, at the age of 18. And in the same year, the setter will make his debut for the adult national team. And first, he wins the silver medal of the World Cup, and then the bronze of the European Championship. At the Euro, he adds the title of the best setter of the tournament to his piggy bank of individual awards. At the World Cup, he was pushed by American Micah Christensen, about whom there is already an analysis on the channel. So, if you want to see it, then follow the link in the description and tips. Starting next season, the Italian becomes a key player in any team, wherever he plays. I don't see any point in analyzing every season, let's just run through the team and personal achievements of the player during his adult career. And this is the gold of the Italian championship in 2015. Many sources indicate the championship in the 12-13 season, but then he did not get into the squad. So I do not know how he got this title, but I am not greedy, let it be. Then we have the silver of the Italian championship in 17 and 22, winning the Italian cup in 2013 and 2022, Champions League silver in 2016 and 2021, as well as bronze in 2022, gold medals of the CEV cup in 2019 and gold of the club world championship in 2018. With the national team in 2015, Gianelli won the bronze of the European Championship and the silver of the World Cup, and in 2016 the Italians won the silver of the Olympic Games. The last two seasons have been especially successful for Italy, during which they won the European Championship and the World Championship. If you look at the individual awards of the setter, then everything is even better here. The best player of Serie A and the best setter of the European Championship in 2015. In 2016, he became the best setter of the Champions League and the World League. The title of the best setter of the World Club Championship in 2017 and in 2019. The best setter of the Italian Cup and the World Championship in 2022. And of course, the MVP of the European Championship in 2021 and the MVP of the World Championship in 2022. Let's move away from the background and move on to the part that many of you have come for, namely the game analytics. So now I'll tell you about the features of Simon's game, how he directs the game, how he performs the second form for the setter, but at the same time, very important elements on the court, let's go! 
Analyzing the game of the Italian setter, I got a lot of pleasant sensations, because Simone has been playing so simple and smart since an early age that it does not fit into my head. Gianelli will do his job so efficiently and competently that it's most likely a great pleasure to play with him. Despite the large number of highlights in various collections, adventurous sets in the course of a single match cannot be seen at all. What do I mean by that? Look, if the pass was performed closer to the center of the court, then in most cases the Italian will give the set at 4, in the hope that outside will be able to make the most of this situation. He will not take risks if he is not 100% sure that he is right. For example, as in this rally, when he had time to assess the situation and address the set to his opposite who had only one blocker, while there were already two hanging on the outside. If the pass goes outside the court, then Gianelli leaves the ball to the nearest addressee and does not risk and does not throw the ball to the center or to the far edge of the court. At every opportunity, Simone controls what is happening on the opponent's side in order to create the most comfortable conditions for his spikers. Here is an example from this rally. There is a good reception, Gianelli sees that Bruno is preparing to go to the fourth zone and Simon also starts moving to the edge and also watching his player. Gianelli decides to give the set to one block to Luca Vettori. The opposite failed to score, but Trentino gets a free ball. Simone Watch sees that no one will help Simone and gives the ball to Srečko Lisinac, who copes even with Simone without any problems. Here Simone notices that each player of the front line has his own blocker, so the most profitable solution was to play a pipe. And even though Aaron Russell didn't score at the first attempt, Gianelli gave him a second chance. Here the American hammers the ball. And finally, the last episode, where the Italian noticed that if Simone manages to get to the fourth zone, then he is unlikely to be able to organize a high-quality block. Which is not without problems, but Vettori took advantage of. I don't think it's worth giving obvious examples further. Just follow him for at least one or two games and you will be convinced of the highest level of this volleyball player. Gianelli plays in a very diverse way. First of all, the situation is dictated by the actions of the opponent's block. Simone usually does not choose his favorite, shifting all the distraction to him, but as a rule, he chooses the most convenient continuation of the rally, sending the ball to the spiker, who will face the least resistance from the blockers. Except that the last seasons with Nimir and Leon somehow get out of this usual picture. I noticed for myself that the Italian with a good pass often sets to opposite or middle than outside from the front line. Even a pipe is played more often in such situations than an attack in four. If you have marked other Gianelli tips for yourself, then write about them in the comments. The setter uses a jump serve. It will not be possible to call it a killer, but sometimes he is able to create problems for his opponent in pass. Basically, this is obtained with shortened or tactical serves. Although, with each season, Gianelli progresses in this element, which the opponents felt at the last World Championship. Simone's height should be attributed to certain advantages. With figures of 200 cm, the height of the Simone's block reaches 330 cm, which significantly adds value to him, because usually setters are the weak link in this aspect. But Gianelli became the best blocker of the Italian national team at the last Nations League, which is certainly amazing. Also, let's talk about defense. Here, the Italian sometimes had problems with choosing a position. It seems to me that sometimes he goes too deep to the center of the court, which is why he sometimes conflicts in position with other players. But when he moves closer to the edge of the court, the efficiency increases. In this rather short video, I try to tell you who Simone Ginelli is. In general, I hope that you like this analysis and you will click the like button under this video for my efforts. Write who else you would like to see in such thematic videos. The most popular characters will definitely get to the analysis. Well, Nick was with you as usual. Love what you do and you will definitely succeed. See you soon. Bye.